Hello everyone. Thank you for watching. Um, my name is Maria and I wanted to something that, I wanted to talk about something that's been on my heart for quite some time and something that I've actually been I won't say suffering but really trying to grow through. Um, I've suffered for it with this particular illness for a long long time and I've been getting treatment for the last six years or so. Um, so I wanted to it's been placed on my heart to really just come out and share my story, um, try to present a no judgment type of zone. So, you know, people, maybe there's someone out there that is suffering with this particular illness and, you know, they, they feel like they're all alone. So I just kind of wanted to come on and share my story. So what I'm talking about is you can probably indicate, you probably figured out from the header of this is PTSD. It's really called post-traumatic stress disorder. And contrary to popular belief, it's not a disorder that's just military related. So I'm going to just give you a brief definition of what it is. Now this video, before I do that, this video is only going to be prayerfully about 15 minutes long. I'm going to do another three installments. Um, this one just, you know, I want to open up and talk to you about my story uh, maybe there's someone out there that can relate and understand that you're you're not alone in this in this particular uh, battle, um, but you know there is help for you and you know you can overcome quite a few things. So I just want to share my story and then talk about what I use in order to help me day to day. And it is really a daily battle, but and sometimes moments. Uh, but you know I'm I'm determined. Um, so I wanted to share it because it's, it's been very helpful to me. So if it's helpful to me, perhaps it'll be helpful to someone else. Um, the second installment, like I said, we'll just talk about what do I use as self-talk in order to get me through certain moments that triggers um, certain uh, part of the stress disorder portion. And then the third part is just, you know, if you're a loved one of someone and you know of someone that has PTSD, you know, how can you identify the signs and what can you do to help? Um, I'll just explain again my version of it and what, what works for me um, and you know take the meat and spit out the bones <laughs> is, is what I'll ask that you do and then the fourth installment really talks about self-identification like really what is the disease and what is you so to get started what is PTSD and I'm gonna read from my notes a definition that according to mental health professionals post-traumatic stress disorder or PTSD is a mental condition that results in a series of uh, emotional and physical reactions in individuals who have either witnessed or experienced a traumatic event. Events that cause the individuals to fear for personal life and well-being, such as a car collision or other accident, a physical or sexual assault, long-term abuse, torture, a natural disaster, living in a war zone, or life-altering experiences like the death of a loved one can all spur the following PTSD symptoms. And I'll